Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to withdraw stable coins and crypto from Binance US. So let's get started. All right, so if you're like me, you've got a uh, email from Binance US explaining that they're no longer doing fiat deposits and withdrawals. And although this may be a little scary, it's not a big deal. It's really nothing to worry about. You can work around it. So I'm going to go over some crypto basics for you to show you how you can withdraw stable coins back to a wallet or to a different exchange so that you can cash out. And I'm also going to show you how to withdraw your cryptos to your own wallet in case you want to do that as well. So before I go any further, I should just let you know that Binance and Binance US are not going anywhere. They have given no indication that they are closing. So you have plenty of time to do this. Now, uh, one of the things that they mentioned is that uh, as of next week, your US dollar balance might be converted to stablecoin. And uh, if you're on vacation or you're not really paying attention, you may stumble upon this. So I just want to show you how you can deal with stablecoins, uh, withdraw them if you need to, to your own wallet or to a different exchange if you need to cash out. So let's focus on that. So the first stable coin that we'll cover is US dollar coin. US dollar coin is a very widely supported stable coin. So you should have no problem moving it around to your own wallet or to other exchanges. So the first thing I'll do is show you how to withdraw some US dollar coin to Coinbase. Uh, let's just assume that you've stumbled on to uh, Binance US and you wanted to withdraw your cash and discovered that it was now stablecoin and you really need to cash out. So we'll cover that scenario first. We've got some US dollar coin here in our Binance US account. Let's go over to our Coinbase account. And what we want to do is search for US dollar coin. From the home page, we'll want to go over to primary balance. And what we want to do is receive some US dollar coin. One of the best ways to transfer US dollar coin is on the Polygon network and Coinbase supports this. If we use the Ethereum network or the ERC20 network for transferring US dollar coin, we're going to get hit with some pretty big Ethereum fees. So we'll want to avoid that. So here on Coinbase, We'll just hit, the, they're letting us know that they support multiple networks. We'll choose got it. And instead of Ethereum, we'll switch over to Polygon, All right? It's gonna give us much cheaper fees. So we'll copy this into our clipboard. We'll go back over to our Binance US account. Uh, we'll go over to our US dollar coin and we'll make a withdrawal. And instead of uh, Ethereum, we wanna switch over to Polygon, All right? This is going to give us much cheaper fees. Uh, let me just show you here. If I choose Ethereum and paste in my address of my uh, Coinbase account, and uh, instead of max, I'm just going to do 40 because I want to have some leftover for a, another demo for you. And if we go to preview withdrawal, you'll see it's going to charge us $6.84. We uh, want to avoid that. So let's go back and switch it over to Polygon. Uh, we'll go ahead and paste in that Coinbase address again. And we'll do the preview withdrawal and notice that uh, it's much cheaper, right? It's only $1. So uh, this is the address of our Coinbase account. We can confirm that over here. And we are receiving on Polygon. And we're sending on Polygon. So we'll hit confirm withdrawal. We'll put in our two-factor authentication. I'm using Google Authenticator, and off it goes. Now, uh, for Binance US, you do need to confirm with the email so that you will uh, your withdrawal will be complete, right? So they're going to send you an email. Just open up that email and choose Confirm Withdrawal, and your withdrawal will be complete, All right? And then we can go over here to Coinbase. Go to my assets and all we have to do is just give it a few minutes and we'll see the uh, US dollar coin in our account. 
Oh, now you can see that the US dollar coin is in my Coinbase account here. I can just click on this, go up here to buy sell, and then we'll uh, click the sell tab. And we want to sell all our US dollar coin. And it'll just get converted into uh, dollars, right? We'll hit sell now. And once we do that, you can see we've got US dollar in our account. We can just click there. And now we can cash out, right? Pretty easy. Just click cash out. Continue. Choose your bank account. I choose the cheaper way. Uh, I don't need it right this second. So I'll just choose the uh, one to three business days. Click continue. And cash out. And there we go. That's all you need to do. Sometimes it might ask you for your two-factor. Sometimes it won't. Either way, you should have access to your cash uh, within a few business days. All right, now suppose that uh, we just wanted to move our stablecoin into our own wallet. Uh, we can do that as well. I'll just do an example with MetaMask. Now, you can move that stablecoin into your MetaMask Ethereum-based account, but as I mentioned, it's much cheaper to use the Polygon network. So I'll switch over to Polygon Mainnet. So uh, I switched over to Polygon. We can receive US dollar coin, Polygon-based stablecoin into our MetaMask account. All we have to do is copy the address into our clipboard here. We'll go back over to Binance US. Let's go over to our US dollar coin and we wanna make a withdrawal and we'll choose Polygon again. That's cheaper. And we'll just go ahead and send what's left. In this case, I'll just shave off the extra uh, decimal places because uh, it works better without a bunch of decimals. And we'll paste in the address of our MetaMask wallet. Right, we'll click preview withdrawal. It's gonna cost us another buck, which would be is cheaper than the Ethereum. We'll click confirm and then put in our Google Authenticator. All right, once again, we'll need to confirm this with an, our email. There's our withdrawal, we'll click confirm and then we're done. So over in MetaMask, if you don't have auto token detection on, you can go over to your settings. You wanna go to privacy and scroll down to the bottom here and just make sure you've got auto detect tokens on. All right, and it should see any new tokens that come in, like in the refresh list. If you don't, you can go over here to import tokens and just search for it. US dollar coin uh, for uh, Polygon, right? Click next. And there you can see those tokens that I, I sent over, right? Just click import tokens and then you'll see your uh, US dollar tokens in your wallet. All right, so that takes care of our US dollar coin. Now, uh, the Tether is a little bit of a different story. Uh, if we have US Tether in our Binance US account, it's probably better to go ahead and trade it for uh, a more versatile stable coin. Uh, Tether is pretty versatile, but not on Coinbase. Uh, if we go over here to um, US uh, Tether and we go to receive, you'll notice that it's only available on the Ethereum network, right? We can't switch networks for Tether. So uh, we're going to get some pretty high fees if we try to use Coinbase, right? Now, there are other exchanges where you can deposit US Tether. Uh, Kraken is one of them, and so if you decided you wanted to do a deposit of US dollar Tether, uh, they've got other network supports, right? They've got support for Polygon and some of the other uh, cheaper networks, so keep that in mind as well. But if you just wanted to swap your Tether out for uh, US dollar coin, you could do that pretty easy. So you could easily just buy some US dollar coin with your tether, right? And you're not going to get charged too much. All right? I just have a little bit in my account. But it's not going to cost you a whole bunch. So you can see there now I've got some extra US dollar coin in my account. We have the same issue with Binance US dollar. Uh, we can uh, send it to our Coinbase account if we want. 
right? You can uh, deposit Binance US dollar in your Coinbase account, but only on the Ethereum network, right? So uh, that's going to be high fees. So you'll probably want to avoid that as well. Uh, let's see, Kraken, you could probably, uh, it doesn't look like uh, Kraken supports Binance US dollar. So uh, in order to avoid fees for Binance US dollar, probably be easiest to just swap it for US dollar coin. Same, basically the same thing. Unfortunately, they don't support direct swaps to uh, US dollar coin. So you would probably want to swap it for something else like BNB. That's pretty cheap. So in the case of this BNB, as I mentioned, you can send it, send it to one of your own wallets or you can just swap that over to US dollar coin. So these are the only trading pairs for uh, BNB coin. Uh, I won't do uh, US dollar. You can still do that this week, but I'm sure there'll be people watching this video after next week that are not able to use the US dollar trading pairs anymore. They're going to be uh, phasing those out. So stick with Bitcoin. We can uh, swap everything for Bitcoin if we want. We'll go ahead and sell our BNB for Bitcoin. I'll just do it at market. All right, and then if we go back to our wallet, you can see now I've got a bunch of uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is great because it's got a trading pair with just about anything, right? So we can uh, swap our Bitcoin for US dollar coin if we want to. All right, so uh, just sell our Bitcoin at market for a little bit of US dollar coin. There you go. I've got some US dollar coin now, about 45 in available. I can just send that over to Coinbase if I want to. All right, you saw me do that before. Now, what about this Bitcoin and Solana that I have in here? If you uh, don't feel comfortable keeping your crypto on Binance US at all, that's no big deal. You can easily withdraw your crypto to your own wallet. Uh, I'll put this Bitcoin in my Trezor wallet. So if we go over here to Trezor, we go to our Bitcoin account. We'll just do a receive. Make sure that you've got your device connected. All right, it's going to verify on there so you can see where it's going. Confirm that. And then you can just copy the address into your clipboard. Go over to Binance US and withdraw your Bitcoin. I'm just going to do 50%. So 50% will just be 02. All right, and then I'll paste in the address of my Trezor wallet. Preview that. Gonna get some fees. You're always gonna get fees on Bitcoin. Uh, we're gonna need to confirm that. They're gonna send us a confirmation email. We'll click that and our withdrawal is okay. Uh, Trezor does not support Solana, but Ledger does. So for Ledger, uh, we can just go to our Solana account, do a receive. Um, we can skip verification, just grab the address, right? Go back over to Binance US, right? It's easy to make a withdrawal from Binance US. Just go to the, go to your wallet, right? Go to your coin. Uh, you can click on the coin if you want to, and then just do your withdrawal. Uh, you can max it out if you want to. Like I said, don't use a lot of decimal places. They don't like that. All right? And you, there might be a little dust left, but it's not going to hurt anything. All right? Paste in that Solana address. Preview that withdrawal. Uh, Solana fees are pretty cheap. Put in our two-factor. And there we go. Like, and one more. We'll have to go over to our email. Confirm that withdrawal request. All right, you can see that the Bitcoin has arrived in my Trezor Bitcoin wallet. All right, and you can see that the uh, Solana that I sent from Binance US has arrived in my Solana wallet. So everything that I transferred over from Binance US has shown up in my wallets or in my Coinbase exchange. You saw that I was easily able to convert my uh, US dollar stablecoin 
uh, into cash on Coinbase. So there's really no need to worry that Binance US has disabled uh, US dollar withdrawals and deposits, right? You can easily work around that and uh, do anything you need to do. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.